What's up guys, Apple ITR here, and today I'll be going over 11 must-have jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 12. All these tweaks will be listed in the video description below. With that being said, let's get into it. The first tweak I want to go over is an absolute classic. It's called Cylinder. Now this tweak allows you to add cool animations to your icons every time you swipe through an app page on your home screen. Animations can be configured in your system settings, where you can select combinations of animations or just one animation at a time. The next tweak I have for you is called Boulders. This tweak redesigns the folders on your iDevice to give you a cooler and bigger looking folder view. As you guys can see, the look of my folders on my iPhone has been completely changed to allow more icons and a different look and feel. The next tweak I'll be going over is called Real CC or Real Control Center. As you guys know, when you hit the Wi Fi button in your control center, it doesn't actually turn off the Wi Fi completely. This can be pretty annoying at times. Real CC allows you to toggle on and off without going into your settings to turn it off. So that's pretty nice. I can hit the Wi Fi button in my control center and it will actually fully turn off with this tweak. The next tweak I have for you is called Floaty Dock. Now this tweak gives your iDevice a floating dock look. With Floaty Dock, you can add a recently used application section to your dock. It also allows you to simply slide up from the bottom left or right of your screen to use your dock from within any application. It has some extra features such as a multitasking split screen feature, as well as a picture in picture feature where you simply just hold and drag the dock icon into the window view to produce a side-by-side -side screen of two apps or a picture-in-picture -picture view of two apps. The next tweak I have for you is called PokeGo LS or PokeGo Lock Screen. This tweak allows you to have a custom animated GIF lock screen and home screen on your iDevice. As you guys can see here, my lock screen uses a GIF animation I have selected. All you have to do is download a GIF to your camera roll and select it from the PokeGo lock screen settings pane. You can also apply a different animation to your home screen if you wish to. The next tweak I have for you is called Melior. This tweak gives you an awesome, non-invasive looking volume bar or indicator for when you use your volume buttons on your iDevice. As you guys can see, Melior has given me this redesigned volume bar indicator, and you can fully customize your volume bar colors, size, and position within the Melior system preferences. The next tweak I have for you is called Lock Anim or Lock Animation. Now this tweak allows you to set a cool lock animation to your screen whenever you lock your iDevice. Animations can be selected in Lock Anim setting pane. I currently have random animations on, so the animation is different each time I lock my device. The next tweak I have for you is called Snowboard. Now this tweak allows you to apply custom themes to your iDevice. Themes must be downloaded separately from the tweak and selected in the Snowboard Preference panel. As you guys can see here, I have a theme applied. This one is called Lotus. It's one of my favorites. And I've also used Snowboard Settings pane to customize the shape of my icons into circles. So this is Snowboard. You can apply custom themes to your iDevice with this one. The next tweak I have for you is called Cask. Now this tweak adds animation effects to your iPhone table views. As you can see here, as I scroll through my settings, it adds a cool animation effect to the settings panes popping up. Animations can be customized in Cask's setting pane in your system settings. And it's important to note that Cask applies this animation to all the table views. I'm just using my system settings as an example. The last tweak I have to show you guys today is called Silo. Now this tweak allows you to rearrange your control center widgets from your system settings. As you guys can see, my control center has been rearranged compared to the default control center. The arrangement is made from the control center settings on your iDevice, where you can drag and drop the order of your widgets. All right, guys, so those are all the tweaks for this video. I hope you guys enjoy them. Make sure to drop a comment, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.